So guys, if you want to start investing in Grow application, but you don't have an account, then no need to worry because in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can easily open an account in Grow application within 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, before going ahead, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, the very first thing you have to do is just simply uh, download Grow application in your mobile phone. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone or an Android phone, the process is going to be same. If you're using an iPhone, go to App Store and uh, download uh, Grow application. Once the application is downloaded, simply tap on uh, open. And once the application is completely started, uh, directly it will ask you to select your email ID. So if you have multiple email, uh, email ID uh, in your phone, just uh, make sure that you select the correct one. After selecting email ID, if you get a pop-up like this, uh, it is saying that allow Grow to send you notification. If you want it, you can select allow. If you don't want it, you can select don't allow. Now on the next page, it will ask you to enter your uh, mobile number. So just enter the number and select confirm option. Now I have entered the mobile number. Let's select confirm option. On the next page, you will receive an OTP uh, on your mobile number. So enter the OTP and go ahead. Now you can see it has automatically uh, detected the OTP. Again, on the next page, it will ask you to set up Grow PIN. So you have to set a four digit PIN over here. Now, once you enter the uh, PIN, again, it will ask you to uh, re-enter the PIN. So just enter the same number. And on the next page, uh, it will uh, ask you for some permission uh, where you can give permission for phone SMS location. So select allow permission over here. You can see it is linking the mobile number and once the process is complete, uh, now it will ask you to link bank account with Grow application. So you can select your bank uh, or else you can just search over here or else you can also uh, tap on search bar and you can directly enter your bank name. Now once you select your bank, it will automatically fetch the details. So you don't have to enter any bank account details manually. Now on the next page, it will ask you to uh, enter your PAN number. So make sure you enter the correct number and then select continue option. So I have entered the PAN details. Let's select continue option. Now it is uh, fetching your name, which is on PAN. It will show you a detail like this. So you just have to confirm. And once you confirm it, select yes, confirm. Now on the next page, it will ask you to choose your occupation. So you can select private sector if you're working in private sector. There are multiple options. You can choose whichever you want and go ahead. Now on the next page, it will ask you to enter mother and father name. So enter the details and again, select next option. After entering mother and father name, let's select next option. Now it will ask you to select your annual income. You get multiple options over here. You can choose whichever bracket you are in. Now again on the next page, it will ask you uh, your marital status. So if you are single married, you can choose that and go ahead. Now again on the next page, uh, it will ask you for your trading experience. So if you have an experience, you can choose any option. If you don't have an experience, you can select no experience and go ahead. Now on the next page, we need to verify other using OTP. So all you have to do is select continue option and go ahead. So it will take you to DigiLocker page, select proceed option over here. You need to enter your Aadhaar number and then select next option. So as you can see, I have entered the Aadhaar number. Let's select next option. Now over here, you can see it is asking us to enter the OTP. So you will receive an OTP uh, on the same number, which is linked with your Aadhaar card. So enter the OTP and go ahead. Now I have entered the OTP. Let's select submit option. Now, if you are already registered with DigiLocker, it will ask you to enter six digit security pin. Now, if you don't remember the DigiLocker pin, then you can select forgot my pin option. You can reset it and then you can again continue this process. After entering the security pin, let's select done option. Now, on this particular page, you don't have to do anything. Uh, you just have to uh, provide your consent. So select allow option over here at the bottom. Now it is fetching uh, details. So now it has fetched the documents. Now it's time to complete the KYC. So initially it will ask you to take your selfie. So you have to just simply select open camera and take your selfie and go ahead. Now after taking selfie, it will take you to the next page which says uh, submit your signature. So you just have to do the signature on uh, display itself. All you have to do is just simply select proceed option and do the signature. So this is where you have to do your signature. Now, once you have done the signature, just select submit option. Now on the next page, it will ask you to enter nominee. So if you, uh, if you want to add nominee, you can select add nominee option over here, but you can do this process later on. Uh, so for now, I'm just selecting, I don't want to add nominee. Now again, uh, we need to use Aadhaar eSign. Again, uh, select finish setup with eSign option. Select proceed option over here. Now over here, it will ask you to enter your Aadhaar number first. So once you enter Aadhaar number, check this box and sel uh, then select send OTP. After entering Aadhaar number, check this box and then select send OTP. Now you will receive an OTP. So enter the OTP and go ahead. Now you can see document uh, verification is in process. You will be ready to invest soon. So account opening process is completed. All you have to do is just simply select continue option. And if you want to continue to uh, FNO onboarding, you can do that, but you can do that later also. So I'm going to select, I'll do it later. So uh, this is how the Grow application looks like. So at the bottom, you can check out uh, stocks, FNO. If you want to invest in mutual funds, then you can simply go to mutual fund. You can check out all the categories over here and then you can start investing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. This is how simple it is to open an account in Grow application just by sitting at your home. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.